Hi, my name's Chef Hutchings, and this is my guide to vocal chops in BandLab. While you could do vocal chops by slicing, copying and pasting in an audio track, here I'm going to use a much more fun way by using the sampler. On the home screen, tap on the plus icon, then tap on the sampler icon. Or from the track mixer screen, tap on the plus icon, then tap on sampler. To record some vocals to chop up, press on a grey pad until it goes red and then sing some vocals. When you want to stop recording, take your finger off the pad. To import a track, tap on the pencil icon, press on a grey pad, then tap on import audio or video. Now, tap on your audio file to import your audio file into the sampler pad. The sampler pads have a limit of one minute. So if your audio file is longer than one minute, only the first minute of the audio sample will be uploaded to the pad. Next, tap on the pencil icon, then press your finger on the colored pad that you've just added the audio file to and drag it to another pad to copy it to that pad. Next, tap on Edit, then drag the trim markers in the Audio Wave window to the beginning and end of the section of audio that you want to use for your chop up. There is no one so blind. Then tap on Crop. Then move the trim markers again to the beginning and end of the exact phrase you want to use for your chop up. There is no one. There is. And tap on crop. Now tap on normalize. Next, move the dot on the attack slider until it says about 100 milliseconds in the pop-up message. And finally, tap on Done. Now, copy the imported audio sample to more grey pads and create more vocal chops. Next, drag a vocal chop sample to a grey pad and press your finger on the pitch knob. Then move your finger up the screen until it says 2.00 ST in the pop-up message to increase the pitch of the new sample by two semitones. There is, there is, there is. Now, copy more vocal chop samples to grey pads and change the pitch of those samples. Finally, tap on the tick icon to exit the edit mode. Now we have some vocal chops that we can put together and for this we could press on the red record button and then press the samples in the correct order. There is those flying. But for this, I'm going to use the step sequencer for more control and easier editing. Tap on the step sequencer icon. You can tap on the row numbers to hear the sample that is in that row. There is those flying. Now tap on the screen to add a sample note. Now tap on the note to highlight it, 
then press your finger on the end of the note and drag it to the right to increase how much of the sample is played. Then add some more notes. You can turn snap on or off by pressing on the magnet icon. Tap on the X icon. Then tap on the X icon again. The vocal chops will now appear on the mixer track screen as part of your song. To move the recorded vocal chop sample section on your track, tap on the section to highlight it, then press your finger on the recorded section and move it to the left or right. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.